welcome. I welcome you all to this lecture in the course Sandhi in Paninian Grammar. In this lecture we continue our study of Ach Sandhi that is a vowel Sandhi. And we are studying Dvisthanika Ikadesha from this lecture onwards. We said that the Ach Sandhi can be classified under two heads Ekasthanika Ekadesha and Dvisthanika Ekadesha. Ekasthanika Ekadesha means one substitute and, and in its place comes one substitute. And we studied two instances of this classification namely Yan Sandhi and Ayavayav Sandhi. We have studied these two instances in detail. The next classification is Dvisthanika Ekadesha where you have two substituents and one substitute. Dvisthanika Eka Adesha. Two substituents and one substitute. This is being stated by the Adhikara Sutra Ekah Purva Parayoho, which contains two words Ekaha and Purva Parayoho. Ekaha is one slash one of Eka, which means one, and so Ekaha means one substitute. Purva Parayoho is 6 slash 2 of Purva Para. Purva means previous, Para means latter. So Purva Parayoho means in place of previous and latter and obviously sound. So in place of previous and latter sound. To put these two meanings together, the meaning of the Sutra Eka Purva Parayoho would be one substitute takes place in place of two sounds, previous and latter. To show this diagrammatically, we can say that A plus B is the input, where A and B, they both are in close proximity in the Samhita mode. And then the rule in this particular section applies. And in place of both A and B, C is the substitute. So A plus B is the input, C is the output. C is the Adesha, A and B both are Sthanins. This is the difference between Dvisthanika Ekadesha and Ekasthanika Ekadesha. In Ekasthanika Ekadesha, we had A plus B in Samhita mode and A was getting substituted by C. So A plus B was the input and C plus B is the output in Ekasthanika Ekadesha. And now in Dvisthanika Ekadesha, we observe that there are two sthanis, two substituents. A plus B is the input, but the output is only C. This classification is stated in the section in the Ashtadhyayi beginning with 6184 Purva Parayoho up to 61112 and then the Adhikara Prakritya begins which states that the vowels remain in their original initial form and they are not altered, they are not substituted. Although the tradition continues Eka Purva Parayoho up to 61114, there is also a remark passed within the tradition saying that Eka Purva Parayoho continues up to 112, 61112, Khatkhatyat Parasya, a rule which has the word Parasya mentioned directly in the sutra, which 
लॉजिकली कैंसल्स एक पूर्व पर हो एनी वे वी विल नॉट गो इन टू द डिटेल्स ऑफ दीज रिमार्क्स इन दिस कोर्स आई जस्ट नोटेड इट डाउन एंड नाउ आफ्टर हैविंग स्टडीड वॉट इज एक पूर्व पर हो एंड हाउ इट इज डायग्रमेटिकली रिप्रेजेंटेड वी शैल प्रोसीड फर्दर इट इज टू बी नोटेड दैट दिस डायग्रमेटिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन is taken from a review article published by me in the annals of the bhandarkar oriental research institute which was referred to in the one of the earlier lectures in this course now here are the instances of this second classification the first one is guna sandhi stated by the sutra ad guna ha 6187 the second instance is vruddhi sandhi vruddhir echi is the sutra this is 6188 the third instance of dvisthanika ekadesha is pararupa sandhi starting with engi pararupam 6194 the fourth instance of द्विस्थानिक एकादेश इज सवर्ण दीर्घ संधि स्टेटेड बाय द सूत्र अकस सवर्णे दीर्घा सिक्स वन वन जीरो वन एंड द फिफ्थ इंस्टेंस ऑफ द्विस्थानिक एकादेश इज पूर्व रूप संधि स्टेटेड बाय द सूत्र अमी पूर्व दीज आर द फाइव इंस्टेंसेस ऑफ dvisthanika ekadesha and we shall study each one of them in detail first we take up the guna sandhi stated by the sutra ad guna and study it in detail guna sandhi now guna sandhi is stated by the sutra ad guna 6187 and here we have two words in this particular sutra ad and kunaha ad is 5/1 of a either short or long of course pulut or prolated is omitted because there are some other sutras prescribing that pulut remains in its own form so we are not considering it over here we shall take a look at it when we study the prakriti bhava sandhi or prakriti bhava chapter of the sandhi section so at is 5/1 of a short or long rasva or dirgha and so at means immediately after a either short or long rasva or dirgha gunah is one one of guna what it means is guna substitute takes place the words continued from the previous sutra are these achi from ikoyanachi 6177 achi is 7/1 of ach ach means a vowel so achi means immediately before any vowel thereby mentioning the right hand side environment so at mentions the left hand side environment and achi the right hand side environment and of course both of them they have to be in close proximity because there is adhikara samhitayam which means in the close proximity when in the close proximity so at and achi when they are in close proximity then ekaha which we just studied that is one substitute takes place purva parayoho in place of previous and later sounds to put all this together the meaning of the sutra would be when in close proximity samhitayam immediately after a short or long at when comes any vowel achi in place of both of them purva parayoho guna substitute one guna substitute ekaha gunaha takes place 
So to put it in the form of an equation and an input output format, we would say that if you have a short or long followed immediately by h, this can be stated by saying that immediately before h there is a and immediately after a there is h, they are in close proximity, some hita mode and so therefore 6187 would apply and in place of both of them 6187 will state this guna substitute. Now put it to put it in the context if we have let us say a coming and at the end of a pada and h coming at the beginning of the subsequent pada then in place of both of them 6187 will substitute guna. The other left hand side environments and the right hand side environments which are not actually environments they remain same, they remain unchanged. Only a and h they are substituted by guna and that is the guna sandhi. So what is guna? Guna is defined by the sutra adeng gunaha 112 and guna means a, a and o these three sounds. So a, a, a and o will be the substitutes in place of a followed by h. This is the overall meaning of the sutra ad gunaha. Now let us look at the examples and these will be the prototypical examples of ad gunaha. A stands for short and long. So we have examples having both a and a. So first we have a followed by the h e. So why are we not including a over here? Because of the interrelation of ad gunaha with akas savarne dirghaha which we shall discuss later on. So we start with a followed by e even though this particular slot right hand sl side slot should contain an element of h we do not include a here we start with e. So a followed by e and the resultant substitute would be a in place of both a and e. So a and e they both get substituted by a. Similarly a plus short e and they both get substituted by a. Similarly a plus long e and they both get substituted by a. Then we have long a plus long e and they both get substituted by a. Then we have a plus u both short and you have the sutra 6187 applying and the resultant substitute is o. Similarly a plus u and the output generated is o. Then we have a plus long u as input in place of both of them after the application of 6187 we get the output o. Then we have a plus long u both long vowels and 6187 applies and we get the output in the form of o. Then we have a plus ru as input and the output is r. Then we have a plus ru as the input and we have the output r in place of both of them. Then we have a plus long ru as input and 6187 applies and the output generated is r in place of both a and long ru. Then we have long a plus long ru both long vowels and once again 6187 applies and the output generated is r. Then we have a 
followed by Lu and we have the output generated as Al in place of both of them. Then we have A plus Lu and 6187 applies and the output generated is Al. Now in this lecture we shall study the examples of these prototypes, these templates. A plus E, A is the output, A plus E is the input, A is the output and so on and so forth up to long A plus long U being the input and O being the output. We must note here that both at and achi they are being the uddeshyas and that is the reason why a stands for both short as well as long and achi ach stands for both short as well as long vowels let us look at the individual examples first we have a plus e in close proximity in Samhita mode, 6187 applies and substitutes both of them with one substitute namely A. So here we have Tava as one Pada followed by another Pada Ishtam, Tava Ishtam beneficial to you. At this juncture we have A coming at the end of this Pada followed by E coming at the beginning of this second subsequent Pada and these two both these two Padas are in close proximity and so 6187 applies and in place of this A and this E now the output generated by 6187 is A. So we have Tav A in place of A and E and then Shtam this is the second Pada this is the first pada, this is the output generated after applying 6187. When we join these together we get taveshtam, taveshtam. Now let us look at the example within a compound. So if you have chhatra plus isht, something beneficial for a student. So this word chhatra ends in short a followed by e this is a compound so samhita is obligatory over here so they both are in samhita mode and so 6187 applies and substitutes a and e by a so we have the output in the form of chhatra a and st this is the previous part of the compound this is the later part of the compound and A is the substitute of A and E. So we have chhatreshta as the final compounded form. Now if we go once again within a pada, we are deriving the locative singular of Rama. So we have Rama plus E. So A followed by E within a pada. And so 6187 applies and we have Ram and A, A is the substitute in place of A and E after the application of 6187 and so we have Rame as the output, Rame. Then we have the next template A plus E and they both are substituted by A. So here we have Asha plus Ih, two separate Padas, Asha and Ih. We have followed the same practice, needless to say it is visible. We have marked the substituents with red ink and the substitute is marked with the blue ink. So we have Asha plus Ih, so A coming at the end of the first word, E coming at the beginning of the 
subsequent word and both these words are in samhita mode. So, in place of this a and e we have the substitute a. So, we have ash, a and her and when we join together we get ashe her. Now, if we go to the compound we have yatha followed by ishta, yatha followed by ishta and now because this is a compound these two components are in a obligatory samhita mode. So, this a is immediately followed by e and so in place of both of them 6187 applies and places a as the substitute. So, we have yat, a and st and we have finally yathesht, yathesht a compounded form. Now, if we go to one pada within a pada we have the word haha and we have to derive the locative singular of the word haha. So, we have haha plus e. So, we have a followed immediately by e. So, in place of both of them we have a as the substitute. So, we have ha plus a and so we have ha he as the finally finished form of locative singular of ha ha. Then we have a plus long e as the input and a as the output. The examples of this template are the following. We have first of all the compounded forms over here because they are plenty in Sanskrit. So, we have gana plus isha, gana plus isha the compound. So, samhita is obligatory. So, a is followed by e immediately and so in place of both of them after applying 6187 we get gan a and sh and when we join these together we get ganesha. Similarly, we have rishika plus isha remember rishika plus isha this is another compound. So, there is a at the end of this pada and e at the beginning of this pada which, uh, which is part of the compound. So, samhita is obligatory. So, in the samhita mode 6187 applies and this and in place of both of these, these a is the substitute. So, we have rishik a and sh and so we have rishikesha the epithet of Krishna rishikesha. This is how these words are derived and remember there are plenty of words in Sanskrit of this kind. So, we have for example, Suresha, Sura plus Isha, Naresha, Nara plus Isha, Dinesha, Dina plus Isha, Guna plus Isha and so on and so forth. All these words will be derived in this particular fashion. Finally, we take the example of Guna Sandhi taking place between two Padas. So, we have Atra and Iha. Atra is a separate pada, iha is another separate pada, a coming at the end of this first pada and e coming at the beginning of this subsequent pada and both these padas are in samhita mode. So, 6187 applies and substitute a and e by a. So, we have atra, a and ha. So, we have atreha. Now, let us go to the next template which is a plus e as the input and a is the output. So, we have compound first once again because these are very popular and they are also prevalent in modern Indian languages. Names of so many people are explained using this particular sandhi. So, we have Rama plus Isha where you have A followed by E in the Samhita mode because this is a compound and 6187 applies and in place of both of them 
the substitute A comes in. So, we have rum A and sh and so we have ramesh. Similarly, we have guda ka plus ish, guda ka plus ish where you have long a followed by e in the compound. So, samhita is obligatory. So, 6187 applies and substitutes a in place of both a and e. So, we have gudak a and sh and we have gudakesha. This is the epithet of Arjuna. Both Rishikesha and gudakesha they do appear in the celebrated text Srimad Bhagavad Gita several times. Now let us also remember that there are so many words of this kind Umesha, Uma plus Isha, Rajesha, Raja plus Isha, Rakesha, Raka plus Isha, Mukesha, Muka plus Isha and so on and so forth. Plenty of words are there in Sanskrit and they are also part of the modern Indian languages. They will be explained using Guna Sandhi in this particular fashion. Now let us go to the other example where Guna Sandhi happens between two padas which are part of a sentence. So we have Vacha plus Iritam, Vacha plus Iritam, A followed by E in the Samhita mode and so the Sutra 6187 applies and the resultant output is Vach A Ritam. A substituting both A and E and so we get Vache Ritam. Next we have A plus U as input and O as output. So we have Atra plus Uktam, Atra is a separate Pada, Uktam is the separate Pada, A appears at the end of this first Pada, U appears at the beginning of this second Pada. And so 6187 applies and in place of both of them O one substitute takes place. So we have Atra O Ktam Atro Ktam. If we take the example of a compounded form here we have Purana plus Ukta once again A coming at the end of this Pada, U coming at the beginning of this Pada and so in place of both of them we have one substitute namely O. So, we have Puran, O and Kta and so we have Purana Kta, Shruti Smriti Purana Kta. Similarly, another compounded form Sarva plus Upari and once again we have A followed by U in the Samhita mode, 6187 applies and substitutes this A and U by O. So, we have Sarv, O, Pari. So, we have Sarvo Pari as the resultant output. Then we have A plus U as input and O as the output. So, we have Harina and Uktam. Harina has A at the end of it, Uktam has U at the beginning of it. These are two separate Padas part of sentence and so now in place of both of them we have O as the substitute after applying 6187. So, the output generated is Harin O Ktam. When we join them together, we get Harin O Ktam. Within a compound, we have Vidya and Utpanna, where A is followed by U immediately, this being a compound. So, there is Samhita obligatory. And so, in place of A and U, we get O. So, we have Vidya, O and Tpanna, when we join them together we get Vidyotpanna generated by knowledge. Then we have another example of the compounded word A plus Uta. Uta is derived from the verbal root Ve. So, we have A plus Uta and A is followed by U, short U and in place of both of them we get O as the substitute, one substitute. So, we get the form Ota, Ota Prota. So, Ota is derived in this particular manner. Then we have A followed by long U as input 
and O as the output. So we have upper plus Uher and A is followed by U, this is the compound and so we have up plus O plus Her that is Apo Her, O substituting A and U. Similarly, Pada plus Una, Pada is a quarter, Una is less. So we have A followed by U in a compound. In place of both of them, we have O as the substitute. So we have Pad, O and Na, that is Pado Na, one quarter less to the hour. Then we have examples, example of words in the sentence atra plus uche and a is immediately followed by long u and so in place of both of them we get o as the substitute and so we have atra o che atro che. Then we have a plus u as input and o as the output. So we have harina plus uche and in place of a and u, a coming at the end of the first pada and uche, u coming at the beginning of the second pada, we have harin o che, that is harino che. Then we have the compounded form vishala plus urja, where a is followed by long u, and so in place of both of them, 6187 applies and substitutes o. And so we have Vishal O Raja, Vishal O Raja. These are the examples that we discussed in this particular lecture. Now let us look at the interrelation of rules. The interrelation between 6188 and 6187 is interesting, which we shall study in this particular lecture. So 6188 is Vriddhi Rechi which has got two words, Vruddhir and Echi and we shall study this Sutra and Vruddhi Sandhi soon. So Vruddhi is one slash one of Vruddhi, Vruddhi means A, I and O as stated by Ashtadhyayi 111 Vruddhiradaich, Echi is seven slash one of H, H means A, O, I and O. The words continued are Ad, Samhitayam and Ekap Purva Parayoho. Ad meaning immediately after a short and long. Samhitaya means when in close proximity. Ekap Purva Parayoho means one substitute in place of two, the previous and latter substituent. So Vruddhirechi means in the close proximity when immediately before H, that is A, O, I and O, a short and long appears. In place of both comes the substitute termed Vruddhi that is A, I and O. So we have A plus H as input and this sutra applies and Vruddhi is the output. What is important here is that H is part of Ach which is the condition for 6187 to apply. Now we see that there is some overlap of scope of application of rules over here. 6187 says when ach is at this place, so when ach follows a a, the resultant output should be guna and ach includes h. Now with respect to this h which is overlap domain, 6188 says that vruddhi substitute takes place in place of both of them. Now in this smaller domain, Vruddhi is the substitute that overrules the Guna substitute and so 6187 does not apply in the condition of H coming immediately after A. And 6188 applies over here. To summarize, in this lecture we studied in detail the Guna Sandhi, the Sutra which states this Guna Sandhi, Ad Gunaha. We also studied its meaning 
We also studied the words continued in it from the previous sutras. We also studied part of the examples in details. And these examples are taken from different levels within a pada or in between two padas. We also studied the interrelation of 6187 and 88. Now we study remaining examples and interrelation of some other rules. This we do in the next lecture. Thank you for your patience.